Will you check your arms? Make sure they look just like Benj or Shavi or Connor or everyone. Thank you. And we'll just start on final syllable. Ready? Final syllable B L E. Final syllable F L E. Final syllable P L E. Final syllable E L E. Vowel Y combination E R trigraph I G H digraph A I combination Can we do that one more time combination A R digraph C H combination O R V a consonant E, O consonant E, I consonant E, U consonant E, E consonant E, X, Y, digraph S, H, digraph O, O, J, S, O, I, A, D, B, E, digraph N, G, Final syllable, B L E. Nice job. I might need to start retiring some of these because we're starting to get a lot and it seems like you guys know them really well. So teach her some of those single letters. I'll probably retire the next time we do those. And you're still sitting so politely. Thank you very much. Perfect. Okay, so will you check your arms? Make sure they look just like Presley's. Thanks, dude. Yeah, all the way up. Starting on bubble bull. Ready? Bubble bull. Ruffle full, staple full, candle dull, bottle dull, bugle gold, cry eye, candy eye, butter herb, light eye, rain a, hay a, star r, t, horse or, quill or. Keep going on bird. Bird, bird. Can we do it together? Bird, er, vest, v, charge. Turn cake. Cake A hose O Q U dime I Wagon Umbrella A Unicorn U Octopus A Overalls O Inch in Icicle I Apple A Acorn A Elephant A Equal E Ring Starting ring ing. Ready? Ring, 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 bubble, bubble. bull. Nice job. Thank you for being right with me. Danica, I need both arms all the way down there. Okay, with our suffixes, ready? Suffix, s, z. Suffix, t, d, e. Suffix, ing. Suffix, e. Suffix, e, ready? Suffix, e. Suffix, nest. Suffix, west. Suffix S. Mm, nice job. Thank you. Right with me on those. In fact, let me quick. Oh, I think you're getting close on your points. But I will add that next one for so many kids being right with me for letter and picture cards. Thank you. Okay. We are. Oh, some kids already have pencils up. I didn't even tell you. Thank you very much. Number one. S final S S Remember we're not setting our pencil down, you'll just keep it in your hand so we can go fast. Remy already watching again, thank you. Number two. V V final V E. Alexa, Connor, Sabrina already watching. Number three. E, e, digraph, E, E, comma, E, final, digraph, E, E, comma, vowel, Y. Right with me, digraph. Teachers, I find it's much more effective to 
uh, say the sounds first and then write them because most first graders cannot write at the same speed at which they talk. So it's much more helpful to say it first and then to let them write at their own speed. Number four. I. 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 I consonant E, comma, I, I final, vowel, Y. Cole already done. Number five. Qu. Qu. Combination Q U. Do that cue nice and small so you don't bump the number six. I tell you what, I'm going to start going faster. I think you guys are fast at these. Number six. J. 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 Number seven. X. 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 Number eight. Ch. Ch. Digraph C H. Woo! Number nine, or, or combination, combination O-R. My goodness, so many kids write with me. Number ten, A, A, A. Nice job. Number eleven uh, is going to use one of our new combinations that says er, er, er. This is combination I-R. What combination? I-R. Spell for me the word shirt. And teachers, we tell them it's a combination IR because there's no rule about when IR or UR or ER says ER, so we're telling them it's an IR word. Spell shirt for me if today you are wearing a shirt. Starting S, ready? S H I R T. Good, should have had an IR in the middle of shirt. Number 12, spell for me the word, Danica, you're not talking. Spell for me the word first. What word? First. Using IR says er in first. Good, Sabrina already done. Danica, we're doing first by number 12. Listen, shh, shh, shirt. Thank you. Okay, spell first for me if you are in first grade, starting F. Ready? F I R S T. Oh, good. That almost sounded like everyone was in first grade. Great. Okay. As soon as you have shirt and first, just like mine, you can park your pencil. Some kids already did. Some kids already did that. And we need to talk about something we've talked about before and add to it. And that is that the bossiest letter in the entire alphabet, the bossiest of all the letters is the letter R. R. Yeah, some kids knew it. Is the letter R. And we've talked about how she loves to boss the vowels. In fact, she's bossed all the vowels almost. She's bossed A. You can say it with me if you know. She's bossed A, A E, e I, O, but not U. She hasn't bossed the letter U around yet. But the reason for that, the reason she hasn't ever bossed him around or done anything to him, is because he's the toughest letter in the alphabet. Now, when we talk about the letter U all by itself, I told you that he's the toughest letter in the alphabet, but let me remind you. He's so tough because every morning he wakes up and he puts on his black leather pants and he puts on his black leather jacket, zips it up. He puts on his big black leather boots and he puts on his black motorcycle helmet with the tall spikes sticking out the top and he feels to make sure they're all there. And then gets his muscles ready, he opens his front door, and he walks outside going, uh, 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 saying his sound, uh. So I'm going to put him up here, letter U, and I think, I won't draw everything that he has, but maybe we'll give him some eyeballs, and we'll give him 
Sometimes he has kind of mad, mean eyebrows. We'll give him a pointy little nose and maybe even a tough guy mustache. And we know that he's a tough guy that's going to say, uh, uh, uh. Stand up. And I want you to pretend that you're the letter U and you've just woken up so you can kind of do a little stretch. Oh, okay. We're going to put on black leather pants and black leather jacket. Zip it up. Put on your black leather boots. Put on your black helmet. Check to feel the spikes. Oh yeah. Get your muscles ready. Open the front door. You're not going to actually walk anywhere. You'll just stay at your seats. But after we've opened the front door, letter U, three times tough guy says, Oh, oh, oh. Nice job. Oh, Remy read my mind. He's already seated. He's already scooting up. Danica, you too, and Paxton. Perfect. Well, one day, letter U walked out his front door, super tough, tough as could be, and he, was, he decided he wanted to walk around to the playground to where the other letters were playing. And he wanted to show them how tough he was. So walking out his front door, he walked to the playground the whole way going, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, with his big muscles. Check your hands. Well, who should he see but the bossy letter R? Now, you might remember, she thinks she's pretty tough too. She's got her big, long eyelashes and she's got her bright red lipstick with kind of a mean smile. <laughs> but worst of all, she's got her red bossy boots. She's got her red, red bossy, bossy boots. boots. And so she put them on this morning and she said, let's first of all give her her little boots and we'll make sure they've got sharp points, sharp little spikes. There we go. So she put on her red bossy boots and she headed to the playground where all the letters were playing and she could hear letter U walking around. Uh, uh, uh. And she said, aha. Can you do it like her? Aha. And she decided that she wanted to boss letter U around. So she went up to him and she said, hi letter U. And he said, hi kind of a tough guy voice. And she said, letter U, I was thinking it would be really fun if we played together. He said, okay. Can you do it like he did ready? Uh, okay. okay. And she said, but I think when we play together, you should say my sound instead of your sound. You should say er, er, er instead of uh, uh, uh. And he kind of looked at her and he said, I'm a letter U, why would I do that? And she said, because I want you to. And he said, no, I'm not doing it. I'm a U, I say uh. And she said, not with me. Do it in a mean voice, ready? Not, not with me. me. And she joined her arm through his so that he couldn't run away. And she said, letter U, say my sound, er. And he said, no, I'm not doing it. And she said, say my sound er or I'll stomp on your foot with my bossy boot. And he said, no, I'm not doing it. And she said, say my sound. Uh. And she stepped on his toe with her bossy boot. And he went, ow. And she said, no, not ow, er. And she went, uh. And she stepped on his toe again. And he went, Err, err, err. Can you do it like he did, ready? Err, err, err. Good. And he was very, very sad to know that whenever he played with letter R, even though he was the toughest letter in the alphabet, she was the bossiest letter in the alphabet. And she wouldn't let him say, uh, uh, uh. He would have to say, err, err, err. Some kids knew it. 
So it's not just a vowel U anymore. Now it's something called a combination. Now it's something called a combination. You got it. And we code it with an arc to show it says er, er, er. So let me remind you of this. Oh, I have been like in love with your eyeballs, dude. Right with me, thank you. We've talked about how a combination is two letters that make a surprise sound. Maybe we could try that, just that part. Start, a combination is, ready? A combination is two letters that make a surprise sound. It's two letters that make a surprise sound. So you might expect U and R together to say a, uh, er, er, but it doesn't. It goes U, R, er, and you have to be kind of surprised that the U, R says the er sound. Can we try it together starting U, ready? U, U R, R, er. Good. This time we'll do it without anybody making silly noises. You'll just do it and show the surprise in your eyes. Starting U, ready? U, U R, R, er. Right with me and you can put your hands back back down. Thank you. So I'm going to show you one quick example before we take out whiteboards. Thank you for sitting ready. In the word F-U-R, <laughs> my first grader Cash read this word last year and he said, Miss Smith, I found a made up word. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, look, a vowel followed by a consonant is short, code it with a brief. Fur, fur. What's a fur? And I said, gosh, there's no such word as fur. That's actually combination U R, code it with an arc. Who knew it? Say it in the air if you know it. Code it with an arc. And U R together says er, er, er. So that's not f -ar fur, it's f er, fur. I cannot believe some kids knew that. I need to add our, la add our last point. Okay, I'll tell you what, before we take out whiteboards, I'll tell you a quick story about a time Isabel thought she was tough and then we'll take out whiteboards and get ready to write. When Isabel was only two years old, I took her to the aquatic center. Raise your hand if you've ever been to the aquatic center. Some of us, okay, hands down. I took her to the aquatic center and her favorite thing to do was to go on the water slide. So, but because she was only two years old and she was so little she couldn't go by herself, she had to go with me. So one day I had taken her up to the top of the water slide and we had gone down the first time and she screamed and laughed, Wee! Mommy, I love it, I love it! Again, again! So I took her up again and we went down the water slide. Again, again! I took her up again and we went down again. We had gone on the water slide like three or four, now five times. And she said, when we got to the top the next time, Mommy, I want to go by myself. And I said, oh, Isabel, you can't go by yourself. That's against the rules. If you're only two, you have to go with your mom. I have to take you. And she said, Mommy, no, I'm big. <laughs> and I said, no, Isabel, you have to go with Mommy. That's the rule. And she said, Mommy, no, I'm big. Can you do it like she did? Mommy, no, I'm big. And I said, no, Isabel, you have to sit on my lap if you want to go. And she said, okay. So we got to the top of the water slide and we sat down, getting ready to push off. And I had her on my lap and I was holding her around my arms. And the lifeguard told us, okay, you can go. So I pushed off the edge and we started going down the water slide. And at first we were going kind of slowly, just curving around. But then the water slide started dipping more and spinning more, and we started going faster and faster. And Isabel said to me, Mommy, I'm big. And she went like this. She took my arms, and she pulled them apart, and she pushed herself off of me so that she would start going down ahead of me. And it was so scary because, of course, the water slide is full of water, and she couldn't swim. And she went, Cole, your mouth is closed. She went all the way down like this, and she flipped over like this and landed face first in the water. And of course, she couldn't breathe and she couldn't swim. And I was trying to catch her, but I was back here and she had pushed herself away. So finally, I leaned forward as far as I could and I grabbed her 
by her swimsuit and I yanked her back up and as I yanked her back up she went <gasps> because she could finally breathe again and she said mommy mommy I scowled <laughs> can you do it like she did mommy mommy I scowled and I said Isabel I know turn around and I held her tight and I said you have to stay with mommy and right then we splashed into the bottom of the pool and when we got out, I said, Isabel, do you want to go on the ride again? Guess what she said? No. no. After that, she didn't think she was very tough anymore because she had gotten so scared of the water slide. So what I'm going to do is start our points over. And what I'm watching for, don't tell me. Okay, guys, no fair not letting me be the teacher and tell you what to do next. Okay, I'll add another point because so many kids got it out quickly and quietly. All right, using combination you are, says, er, Cole, put it away. I'm going to give you a piece of paper to do it with because I need your mouth closed when you do that. First word is burn. What word? Burn. Burn. Let me try it on paper till I think you're ready. Burn. Oh, guys, I'm going to give you a clue. It's combination you are. Okay, polka dot check if you got it. I think what I'll do is I'll use for an example somebody who stays right with me. So polka dot check if you got the letter starting B. Ready? B, B U, R, N. N. Excellent. I'm going to use Connors because he stayed right with me and look what he did. Arc the combination. Anyone else do that? Uh, Excellent. Erase, erase. Next word. Would you get your choppers out? Tell me what. Sharp chopper, Miss Coraline. Tell me what's the root word in hurts. Root word in hurts is hurt. <laughs> Starting root word, hurt. Ooh, good coding. Add your suffix. Make it say hurt. Good coding, dude. Hurts. Oh, polka dot check. I think I already see a couple boards that I might take. London, you're going to stay turned this way. Add your suffix. Hurts. It's polka dot check starting H. Ready? H U R T S. Nice job. Paxton, I'm going to show yours because he boxed the suffix and arced the combination U R. Nice job. Erase, erase. Next word is two syllables. Would you get your hands up and clap with Danica? Ready to go, little lady? Clap with me the word purple. Ready? Pur pull. First syllable? Pur. Pur. I'm willing to let you try this again if you stay right with me. Your mouth stays closed. Tell me deal or no deal. Add your final syllable, per, pull, pull, pull. See if anyone knows how to code it. Very nice. I'll take your hand in just a sec. Polka dot check starting P. Ready? P U R P L E. Shavi, can I take yours? Love this. Remy, I noticed you had it too. P. Bracketed the syllable, crossed out the E, arced the combination. And I know what else I love, Shavi? I just see tiny little polka dots where he checked it right with me. Brianna, much better, thank you. Erase, erase. Next word. Clap with me the word turtle. Ready? Tur tull. For syllable? Tur. Um, can we get the yellow paper out? Oh, not right now, because because we're just mostly focusing on your Thanks for asking. Do you know what you do at the beginning? T t turtle. Add your final syllable. Tur tol tol tol. Okay, polka dot check starting. Oh, veg. Ah, good remembering. Polka dot check starting T. Ready? T U R T L E. Oh, Danica, give me that. Give me that right this minute. 
I see she bracketed the syllable, crossed out the E combination you are. Thumbs up if you got that too. Super fast. Wow, I have so many kids right with me. And I'm gonna give you a bonus point because I think you're kind of cute. <laughs> erase, erase. Next word, choppers out. Tell me what's the root. And teachers, you might notice I have hands kind of as I go around this. I tend to get kids started and then go answer those questions individually if I can so we can keep the pace. Choppers out, what's the root word in turning? Root word in turning is turn. 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 Question? not dripping blood, so I think you'll probably be okay. I'll have you just kind of be careful with it, okay? Thank you. Turn, ing. Add your suffix, turn, ing. Did you get your suffix? Okay, polka dot check, starting T. Ready? T, U, wait, who is that? I can hear a couple kids right with me. Okay, a uh, good way to increase motivation, teachers. <laughs> Pretend you don't know who's with you. Starting T, polka dot check. T-U-R-N-I-N-G. Woo! Box the suffix, arc the combination. Nice job. Erase, erase. Do you know what I just realized? The reason this has been so easy for you is because I keep using combination you are. So, I'm about to get tricky, y'all. Ready? <laughs> Next. It's not funny. <laughs> this is where it gets hard. Next word is short. What word? Short. Short. Shh, shh, shh. What digraph do you need? Okay, starting. Hmm, maybe this was too easy. <laughs> starting S, check it. Ready? S H O R T. Maddie, give me that. Raise your hand if you underlined the digraph and arced combination OR says OR. Okay, erase, erase. I'll do a harder one. Next word is cord. What word? Cord. Cord, like the lamp had a cord. Um, when are you going to uncover that? Oh, we'll do that in a minute. What? <laughs> Guys. I thought this would be tricky because I thought you wouldn't know if it was a K or a C, but I saw a lot of kids kind of glance up here and say, oh, C in front of O. Should be spelled C-O-R-D. Yeah, erase, erase. I'm going to do a trickier one. Aha. Chopper's out. What's the root word in farms? Root word in farms is farm. farm. Think about which combination says R, R, R in farms. Had your suffix, farms. What? Uh, polka dot on F, ready. F, F A, A, everybody with me starting F, ready? F, F A, A R, R M S. S. What? Shavi, have I used yours yet? Yeah. I'm going to take it again because I, I see that he also got a voice line through the S. I hope a lot of, okay, I see a lot of other kids did that. Good. Erase, erase. Last word. Spell for me the word yard. What word? Yard. 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 Like you ran in the yard. I need you to scoot it all the way up, sweetie. Check your chair. Thanks for saying okay. Starting Y, London, you're not talking to Alexa. Starting Y, spell it with me, ready? Y-A-R-D. Gorgeous. First graders, from now on, when you see this card, I want you to say, combination you are. Some kids knew it. When you see this card, I want you to say, turtle-er. Yes, turtle-er, and actually, before you put your whiteboard away, maybe I should have done this at the beginning, but I'll give you maybe like a minute. If you'd like to draw a tough guy combination, you are. Tough guy you with bossy letter R. If you'd like to take a minute and draw that, you're welcome to do that.
Bracken, question? Sure, it's not working. Yeah, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, yeah, that's here. I'll trade you. <coughs> so, teachers, I, I always keep a fresh pail of markers up here so that if kids find that theirs isn't working during the lesson, they can just hold it up and I know that that means we need to trade it for a new one. Ooh, some of these URs look very tough. And bossy. I'm done. If I'm going to let you sit by these girls, it's going to mean that your mouth stays closed. I'm only willing to let you sit here if your mouth is closed. Tell me deal or no deal. Deal. Deal? Okay. I'll watch for you to sit quietly then. Okay, about five seconds. Oh, <laughs> I love these. Erase, erase. I'm watching for which kids quietly put it. Lillian, super fast. Which kids quietly put a cap on their marker? Coraline going super quietly, dear. Thank you. Adelie, already done? Good. Oh, I haven't called on anyone. So your mouths are closed. Brianna goes super fast. Okay, up at the top by number 13. Spell for me the word burn. Like you got a burn on your finger. Burn. Starting B, spell it with me. Ready? B, B U R N. Nice job. Number 14. Spell for me the word hurt. Like you hurt your finger. And I didn't call on you. Okay, spell hurt for me if you've ever been hurt. Ready? H U R T. Nice job. 15. Chopper's out. I'm going to erase this because it only counts if you do it quietly. Go ahead and do it quietly this time. First graders, uh uh. No. I'm taking off a point. I should not hear anyone making noises. I shouldn't hear anybody being silly. Your choppers come out super quietly and you're with me on the next word. Chopper's out. What's the root word in? Okay, send you with me. What's the root word in curling, like curling your hair? Root word in curling is curl. 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 Much better starting quietly that time. Thank you. Oh, good. I see some kids checking the sign. If it's a K or a C in front of K, er, er, er. Add your suffix. Curl, ing. James, you're going to do the same turn around this time. Scoot your chair up on me. Curl, ing, k. Curling should be spelled. See if you got it. C U R L I N G. Anyone get C in front of you? Mm -hmm. Anyone get combination U R? Mm -hmm. Anyone get suffix ing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we start the next section, Ethan, you asked a good question, so I think I'll tell all the kids what it was you asked. He said, when are you going to show what's under that last card? The answer is, right now. Can I get a drum roll? And it's called Combination You Are. Excellent, right with me. I'll just put it up here next to our bossy letter R. You know what, guys? Sometimes we do a silent Simon where we stretch first before we do this part. Could we just go turbo time and just go through it super fast? Yeah. Shavi says yes. Paxton, yeah. Ethan, yeah. Okay, stay right with me. 16, UR says er, arc it. F says f, er, fur. Coraline, I'm the teacher. I'll tell them how to do it. 17, box your suffix ed. You are set. Oh, you're not going to say the coding part with me. We'll just read it. Arc the combination you are. Cover up your suffix. T says t -urn turned. 18, final syllable ple bracket cross out. Arc the combination. First syllable pur says. 
Per pull purple. First graders, I am the teacher. I will tell you how to read it. I'll tell you. 19 digraph CH underline. First graders, you won't actually code it. You won't say the coding part. I'll say the coding part. You are under arc it. CH underline. Digraph CH says church. 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 Match it. <sighs> Me, teacher, you, students. You're the students, not the teacher. James, sit all the way up. 20 is a compound word. Split it after the letter N. Breathe above the U. Combination UR says er, arc it. We're going to read those one word at a time. S says sun, sun, burn, sunburn. Okay, we need to have a talk. Park your pencil. Look at my eyeballs. Listen closely. Watch. Me, teacher. You, students. Okay, try that with me. Do it like I did. Ready? Me, Me teacher. teacher. You, you, students. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Listen again. Watch again. Watch. Watch where I point. Me, Me teacher. teacher. Ha, very funny. Okay, if you're so smart, 21, try graph IGH. Underline, cross out, cross out, macron. Cole, you're just letting me do it. I'll take a quiet hand if you know what it says. What? <laughs> says, nah, nah. Nice. We're not shouting, though. Nah, nah. Nice. Night. 22, box the suffix ness. Root word AR says R, arc it. I'll take a quiet hand if you know what that one says, starting D, D, R. What'd you get? Oh, quiet hands, thank you. London? Darkness. Darkness. Danica? Everybody? Darkness. Darkness. 23, digraph TH, underline. Combination IR says ER, arc it. Digraph EE, -E, underline, cross out, macron. First graders, we're not actually done yet. Super carefully. Um, I want you to do it kind of small. I is a vowel. EE -E is a vowel. Consonant R, consonant T. Split the syllables. I'll take a quiet hand if you know what that one says. Give you a clue. TH starts. Er. What'd you get, Adley? Thirteen. Presley? Thirteen. Everyone? Thirteen. Match it. Twenty-four, vowel Y, vowel dot, macron. Says I, I, I. Is the word? Bye. Bye. Twenty-five, box your suffix E. Root word, AI, says A. Underline, cross out, macron. I'll take a hand. Couple of kids reading it very quietly. Thank you. On R A. What'd you get? Girls? Rainy. Boys? Rainy. Now we'll say it in just a normal voice. What word? Rainy. Rainy. Right with me. Thank you. Will you check to see if your name is at the top? Just like that. Thank you. And if your name is at the top? You're welcome to quietly put this paper. Some kids are already doing it in your folder. Thank you very much.